Hello and welcome back to the farm. As you can see, we are in somebody else's field. Uh, we're in our small little fence. Uh, this fence did have an update. It's done a couple of decal fixes and uh, visual fixes. And uh, it looks really, really nice. And uh, it really doesn't struggle with this uh, case crumbler, which is fantastic. And able to go 12 miles an hour as well. I mean, it's a bonus, especially with this little tractor. So, that's what we're doing right now. Just getting a couple of contracts knocked out. Uh, contract on field 10 is now completed. But I will get it all done. I really don't like leaving bits like that because... You know, in real life, if you wanted someone to do your farm, say, you know, can you cultivate my field? You wouldn't leave a big piece like this in the field, would you? I mean, the farmer wouldn't pay you. So, that's what we're going to do. Because we do need to uh, get the money up to around 20000 But there was a recent mod that came out that I am possibly thinking about using. So, we'll just get this field finished and then we'll have a, a quick look uh, what that is and I just had a fly dive bomb me <laughs> it looks like they're coming out to play which isn't great uh, let's quickly lift that up swing this round and there was a little bit of a weird angle on the edge of that field there which it wouldn't let me get that bit which was really annoying it was like a really bad dip can I get it this way but I don't know if you can see it there's like a big dip there I mean that is dreadful just look at that looks like I've been using the editing tool and I've not even touched it so someone's obviously got my skills when it comes to the editing tool right, let's get that lifted up let's get that folded up let's just turn that off and we'll get this contract sorted. It was, as you can see, to cultivate field 10, we're going to get $2,152. Yes, please. So that is absolutely brilliant. But the mod that was in the mod hub, is it in forestry technology? Yes, it is. It is this thing. Uh, this machine breaks trunks into wood chips. Uh, how exactly it does it? Uh, okay, so it's already got a crane. And it looks like it's got the bit on it that you load logs into. So rather than doing logs, I know logs are more profitable. But we could look at doing wood chips and using this thing. But then again, look at the cost. $31,875 to lease this thing. It is a lot of money. So possibly in another Let's Play series, we might use this thing. But I think right now, financially, uh, we just don't have the means to do it. So what other jobs have we got near us? We're already in the cultivator. Uh, is there one for field seven? Has that wilted? Let me have a look. No, that's almost grown. Field 9. That has. Right, let's have a look. See if there is one for field. A cultivating job for field, field 9. Um, A lot of fertilising job. Field 9. $380. Okay. Well, it's better than nothing. Let's get it out of the way. Let's accept that. Field 9. We're right near it. It is just... Swing round just here. It's not a lot of money, but it is all going to help. And this is what I mean about root crops. The computer plants root crops, but nine times out of ten, they don't harvest them, they leave them to wilt. So I really do think that uh, uh, an update is needed for root crops during seasons because they just don't harvest root crops and it is really annoying 
I mean, what a waste of a, pretty much, a, you'd think, a season for this farmer or whoever owns this field. They, they plant this and then they just leave it to wilt and wither and die. I mean, it, it's just silly. So I think an update is needed for the root crops within seasons. Because I'm not being funny, but you really wouldn't plant things like this just to leave it to wilt or wither or die, whichever term you use. It just seems absolute madness to me that the computer does that. And I'm sure many episodes ago, I think it was, actually, I think it was field 81, uh, the big one near our field 80. Uh, I do believe a fair few episodes ago now, I did uh, say about this issue within seasons and root crops. They just do not harvest them. I mean, again, that field just there in front of us, that is root crops. That is going to wither, and the computer will not harvest it. I mean, it, it is silly, really. I mean, no farmer in their right mind is going to leave a, a field with root crops in and just leave it. I mean, you put all that hard work in. I mean, look at what we did with those potatoes. I mean, we put all that hard work in uh, planting the potatoes with that small potato planter and then they're uh, use of course <laughs> using the old uh, the old Ferguson before it was branded as Massey Ferguson when the two companies joined I believe I think it used to be Ferguson and then Massey won't quote me on it though I'm normally wrong still just earning a little bit of money getting these odd jobs out the way because we do, like I said, we need around about 20 plus thousand to be able to lease the Scorpion King. Because I think the Scorpion King is going to be the best option for us. Uh, we are going to have to look at possibly uh, leasing a log trailer of uh, some kind. Just lift that up, make life easier. So yeah, just going to get a couple of these contracts knocked out. Get that lowered down. But yeah, looking at that new mod, I mean... Would I have liked to use it? Yes, but financially, right now we can't. We did have to get a big old silo, two of big old silos built to be able to store potatoes. Which was annoying. I do wish that the silo on the farm was multi-fruit. That would have made things a lot easier and we wouldn't have had to have spent... 200,000 because you think we did have the money but still very annoying right so there we go $380 in the pocket um there is a lot of fertilizing jobs but financially we do have a fair amount of manure Field 81, let's have a look, that is the field down here. Do you know what, I think I will do that job, we'll get our manure spreader and uh, get that job done. Because we do have our cornfield that is still yet to be harvested. So what I will do is I'll quickly accept that contract. Mr. P going the wrong way again. Brilliant. Because that is a lot of money. 9,588 just to fertilize a field. And then there's field 83 as well. 6,134. Could get 81 and 83 knocked out with the manure. So let's accept that. What I'll do is I'll get that field knocked out. Get that job done. Because then that will be... 9,588, and then if we take on, where is it, I believe it was down here, fertilizing, fertil oh, there we go, field 11, fertilizing, where's field 11, is that near us? Yeah, that's near us as well, so there's some good jobs here that we could get a fair amount of money. And we'll use our manure because we have a fair amount of it. 
So, I'll get a couple of those jobs knocked out, and then we'll see where we stand money-wise, because I really do want to get our cornfield harvested, like I said. And it is already mid-autumn, 12.54, but we are going to be have to look in now, uh, taking a serious look, should I say, at getting some trees taken down in our little forestry area, if we're going to be looking at getting some fields put in there. So, I'll see you all in a little while after I have got some of those contracts knocked out. So I'm back. Um, it was taking far too long with the manure. So I'm just gonna bite the bullet. We're gonna use our uh, sprayer. Let's just get this uh, old girl moved out of the way. Obviously not hit anything, Mr. P. Come on now. Uh, that'll do. Alright, let's jump. Why well, wouldn't let me jump for a minute then? Alright, so let's get attached to this. There we go, front tank, liquid fertiliser. Should going to be far easier, and hopefully this does go a, a pretty long way. I'm hoping it does. Uh, no, let's... There we are. Uh, yeah, I'm, we're going to spend a little bit of money. That, I believe, is herbicide. Uh, oh, what's this over here? Ah, liquid fertilizer. Okay, bonus. Let's uh, top up with that. Oh, great camera angle, Mr. P, you're doing brilliant. Okay. Yeah, come on. Let's see how much we've got in that IBC there. A fair amount, in all fairness, that's actually not that bad. More than I thought we would have. Uh, liquid fertiliser is this one. Because the amount of money we're going to be using... Okay, that was 807, just for that little top-up. That was a lot of money. But we're going to be getting over 9,000. Hopefully this uh, lot of fertiliser that we have here is going to be enough to get a couple of fields done it wants to be for the price of it well i'm hoping it is anyway so like i said and as you know we need to be getting some money we need around about twenty thousand uh, to be able to lease the scorpion king we're going to need a little bit over as well uh, for the cost of a log trailer i am going to try and use the Scorpion King to load the logs into the trailer. Whether that's going to work out or not, I'm not entirely sure. But we do have our telehandler uh, with the bag lifter just to lift the odd tree uh, if needs be. Obviously, we won't be able to lift massive amounts, but it's still better than what we'd be able to do if we didn't have it. So, huh. And plus we have all this straw here. We could always bail this up, get that sold. Do Ooh, slow down, Mr. P. Yeah, do we still have? Uh, there we are. Do we still have all that straw over here? I don't think we did. No, I collected it all. What on earth? Why is it saying there's still bits of straw down there when there isn't? kind of weird but anyway we still do have uh, the straw bales in there we could always look at selling some of those to get a bit of money in we're definitely going to be needing it we've got all this straw here that we can bale oh I've left my harvester out oh it's my field I cut across um, so yeah we can make a fair amount of sales on the bales might be worth looking at getting like a bale loader just for ease and quickness just 
to get this sold. That is where I had a brain fart, pressed the wrong button, and it started spreading and chopping it up rather than uh, swathing it. Because, you know, Mr. P's fantastic like that. Oh dear. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to field 81, knock that out, and look at possibly where is field 83, because that's where the other job was. As you can see, it took a while to get that. Um, so, yeah. There's that. Where's 83? Where is 83? Am I going blind? Where is it? 86, 87, 85. Uh, I must be going blind because for some reason I cannot see 83. And you're probably looking at the screen screaming at it saying, Mr. P, it's there. 84, 83. So, wait there, wait there, wait there. 81, the fertilizer on 83. I'm sure there was a fertilizing job on 83. Another 69, 10,000, fertilized 75. Eighty-seven. Bailing, 38. So where did 83? Oh, that was bailing. Ah, uh, alright. Well, we're going to get all the big fertilising jobs done. Field 11, that's for 10,784. Uh, we got 75, 10,134. 69, just over 10,000 again. So, I'm going to get all those knocked out, if I can. Hopefully, I'll have enough liquid fertiliser. If not, I will top up again, because the money we're going to be getting from these contracts is going to be good. So, I'll see you all in a little while, after I've got these uh, fertilising contracts done. Shouldn't take too long now with this thing. Uh, where did I get up to with the manure? I can't really see. I can barely see. That there. Let's get that lifted up. Let's get the old beacons off. So, I'll see you all in a little while after I've got these contracts done. And we have some decent money in the bank. Okay, so I am back. Um, had to use a bit more money to buy some more uh, liquid fertilizer. Uh, it's definitely not cheap, but the money we've made from doing this is fantastic. It's definitely going to help. Um, I've done the uh, three big jobs. This one now is for four thousand seven hundred and forty dollars. Ninety-six percent done. So, uh, yeah, we're not doing too bad money-wise now. We're definitely going to have uh, enough money for the lease of the Scorpion King. So, yeah, daunting stuff again. That contract's done. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so there we go. 4740 in the bank. What does that give us now? Let's just fold this up. 43977 but I am going to use a bit of that money uh, to top this up again with fertiliser because we will need to fertilise our fields at some point. So if I top it up, actually I'll, I'll top it up at the farm, it's just going to be far easier. So time wise right now, uh, 12 minutes past uh, 3, so not bad going at all. Uh, time wise getting all of those contracts 
uh, done that we was going to do all the big ones uh, happier now money wise definitely but whilst we're here let's oh nearly tip uh, let's go check on our grass field because I'm really whoa what on earth was that okay I really am getting worried that our grass field that we have mowed twice tedded twice uh, is just not turning to hay it is really worrying so here is our turning has the grass dried to hay no it hasn't oh what is going on why aren't you drying it's tall enough again to cut uh, this is becoming a bit of an annoyance now I don't understand why it's not drying it's had a lot of days to dry oh dear so after tomorrow in game uh, if it hasn't dried by the end of tomorrow then we might have to just look at uh, turning this into silage bales because we're just not it's just not drying it's uh becoming a real pain really is really wanting the hay but that's just uh, it's just not doing it is it really so what we'll do is I'll head back to the farm hopefully try not to hit that fence and I will see you all in a little while back at the farm and then we'll, we'll go from there to see what else we've got to do go back to the farm uh, we're going to top this up with liquid fertiliser. We are going to need it for when we replant uh, most of our crops. So let's get that up to out of there. Come on. There we go. There's that one. And that one. Alright, so that is that done. 1,728 and 566. That's uh, actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Still leaves us with 41,600. $83. So what jobs do we have now? We still have the one cornfield. So if we come off of that now, go across. Uh, we still have our cornfield over here at 22. That is ready to harvest. So we need to get over there. We need to get that harvested straight away. Because then that will be all of our fields done. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get the harvester. We're going to head over there, we're going to get that uh, corn harvested, and uh, yeah, put it in the silo. But let's have a quick look again at the prices. Um, sunflowers right now isn't a bad price, in all fairness. Do we have any sunflowers? I can't remember. No, we don't. Okay. Oh, that's out the window. Let's uh, go on a different screen. Uh, let's go across, soybeans, yeah, corn, again, midwinter is the best time to sell that, potatoes, again, midwinter, most of the crops that we've done are midwinter selling crops, uh, we do have a couple of eggs, uh, we don't really have much milk, but that's uh, late spring when the best price is for that, Wood chips, again, middle of winter, so we have got plenty of time, but we still, we do need to get rid of those trees and get that sorted. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll grab the harvester, and uh, well then I will see you over in that field there, just there, 22. We'll get that corn harvested and then we'll bring it back to the farm and uh, we'll get it put in the silo and see where we stand crop wise. And farm picking up the header. There we go. Alright, let's head to the field. I have already taken our big John Deere with our trailer down to the field. A little, uh, Ferguson definitely didn't like it. Oh, we can cut across our field. There we go. 
a giraffe hill to South Farm and do what we want. Oh, I'm not just another cut beacon on the back there. Good going, Mr. P. It's not like 70 odd episodes in or out, is it? So, not too bad. But hopefully, in the next episode, I am hoping, uh, we will be looking at getting some of our fields replanted, uh, get some of them sprayed. Uh, possibly get some manure put on some of them. Wow, you're going really slow. My harvest is going quicker. Come on now. But yeah, we do need to look at getting some other crops in the ground if we're going to have a chance of being able to get them harvested at the start of next season. Because it's already mid-autumn. Uh, I do want to get all of our fields re- uh, I'll do some of it off the screen. Obviously, we're going to be putting in some sunflowers. Show it sunflowers. Let me have a quick look at what we've already planted. Uh, we've already planted, it looks like barley in uh, 91 and 92. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, we've got some more planting to do. We need to be ready for next season and also. During this winter period, um, we really are having to look at getting a big foothold on that little forested area that we do own. Don't hit that sign because I do not want to pull the header off of this header trailer. It can be a bit of a pain to try and fandango it around. But as you can see in the distance, there's our field. It is ready to harvest. Uh, John the, the trailer is already there and uh, it's a pretty small field so it shouldn't take too long to get this field done he says well he hopes all right let's unhook the trailer let's get this header connected turn the old beacons off don't need them on now Straighten out a little bit. There we go. It's a bit of a pain trying to wiggle around. Alright, let's get this last field of this season harvested. Here we go. So our last field, as I said, this season is now being harvested. And as you know, uh, we're only going to have one more season here on the Valley of the Old Farm. So let's go out with a big bang. Oh, just spreading the soft stuff all over the neighbour's field. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Adds nutrients to his field. But yeah, next season is going to be the last season here on the Valley of the Old Farm and we will be moving on to pastures new. But I would like your input on, because uh, we're going to be taking one piece of equipment with us in the next Let's Play. We are going to be as well using the uh, Precision Farming DLC which is uh, definitely going to add a new dynamic to the Let's Play, that's for sure but yeah, out of all the equipment that we own on this farm what one piece of equipment are we going to be taking with us to the new let's play you'll have to let me know down in the comment section because we have that beautiful John Deere there uh, we have this harvester we have the Hulk we have our Bura we've got the old Massey uh, we've got the even older Ferguson uh, we've got the same we've got the small fence um, I mean we've got a fair amount of equipment so uh, Get your wordings in the comment section of what piece of equipment we will take with us in the new Let's Play. There will only be one piece of equipment coming with us. 
all the rest will be sold, all the fields will be sold and uh, the money that we have from this let's play will be rolling over to the new let's play we will have of course obviously have some different equipment over on the new let's play depends if any other decent stuff comes out in the mod hub but I wouldn't hold my breath right now because uh, during the Christmas period giant don't really upload mods fairly often anyway oh it is what it is so what we'll do is we'll get this field knocked out pretty quick and then I will see you when the field is done and we'll head over to the farm and we'll get this corn put in our silo so see you all in a little while you really thought I was gonna go you know we're having a montage see you all in a bit So the last little piece just here and that is going to be the harvest done for this season. It's hard to believe how many seasons we've done and how many episodes we've done. So yeah, it's, it's all coming together. We're getting there slowly. Let's just get all this now put in the trailer. There we are. Turn that off for now. Let's just see how much we end up with in corn. How much is in the harvester? Well, a fair bit in the harvester though, still. So it's not looking too bad yield wise in this field. It is a pretty small field, and why is there still that little mark over here? What's that all about? There's nothing down there. I've harvested it all. Like, oh, one piece. Yeah, I'm, you can stay there. Oh dear. Right, so what are we going to end up with uh, in corn from the yield of field 22? 18,637. That is, like I said, a pretty good yield for the size of this field. Let's just do that, bring the pipe in, we'll get this closed up. There we go. And we will, of course, get the uh, bingo wings out. There we go. So, let's get this taken back to the farm. We'll get it put in the silo, and then that will be the end of this episode. It took a while for me to get those contracts done. Uh, use a fair bit of money in uh, fertilizer, but still definitely paid off 41,646. We've definitely got enough money now for the lease of that Scorpion King, as I said. But in the next episode, we are going to have to look at uh, getting some more crops in the ground, doing some fertilizer spraying on our own fields, and of course, the big task of uh, getting some trees down probably after we've done a, a little bit of planting we'll head on out into the, the uh, forested area just get a couple of trees down get them trimmed up um actually we won't need to trim them up we're going to be using the scorpion king so that'll be doing all the hard work for us so we'll possibly look at leasing a log trailer so, yeah, it's going to get exciting. Um, I don't exactly know right now what kind of fields we're going to be having over there. But it's definitely going to increase the value of that field. And that's one more thing. That, let's just cut through here. It's my field. Do what I want. Uh, that's one thing we're also going to have to uh, think about is 
we are ourselves going to have to add on some extra money when we sell that piece of land because we have put the work in to make those extra fields so whatever size they are you know we can work out how much a field like that would cost and uh, we'll give ourselves that amount of money in the next let's play down this there we've put the work in to create more fields to bring in more revenue so why not Right, so here we go. The last load to go in this silo this season. And it's corn. Alright, let's just pull forward a little bit more. There we go. Nice. So it has been a busy season. Here, cause he's going to need a pretty good clean and so is the harvester when I bring it back but that is going to be it for this episode Whew, it's been a long one for me that's for sure but still I hope you did enjoy it we managed to get a little bit done got the little fence out did a bit of cultivating uh, did a lot of fertilizer spraying and got our last cornfield of this season well, I last field that needed a harvesting of this season, done. So, let's have a look at our fields now. The ones we have that are growing is field 80 and the little one just above it. Uh, we've also got field 91, which has uh, barley in it. I do believe that is barley. Yep. Uh, we're going to be putting sunflowers in field 52 and 92. And the rest, don't know, probably just figure it out and wing it as we go along. But, as always, if you did enjoy it, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I will see you here real soon on the valley, the old farm.